All right, now this time around we've boned our chicken and broken it down. Now I'm going to show you how to pocket the Kiev to make either a chicken Kiev or a chicken cordon bleu. Or once you've learned how to put that pocket in, you can put in pretty much whatever flavour and stuffing mix you like. First thing, again, careful with the sliding board can be dangerous. So please put a tea towel or a cloth underneath your board and that stops it from moving, which keeps your fingers nice and safe. Now you've got a, ni a pointy uh, knife there. Is it necessary have. to have a pointy one? It does help with this particular procedure, yes. We've got the Kiev cut of chicken here, which is basically a chicken breast with the skin on and the first segment of the wing. If you're buying them in a butcher shop, you'll buy them either as a Kiev cut or a, some will call it a chicken supreme. So first thing we do is just tidy it up a little bit. There's a little bit of cartilage on there just to make it nice and clean. So now how to put the pocket in. But this little strip here is your chicken tenderloin. So what we want to do firstly is just loosen that off so it's going to be able to lay down flat. Then back onto there. Did you cut that or is that just no, how that it just, is? that just peels away. All right, so with your knife into that thick part of the, the breast there. Now, keep your chicken close to the edge of the bench so that you can have your hand down low. Don't move it over into the middle because you'll be working at an angle and you won't get a nice clean pocket. So once you've done that, you lay that tenderloin back down. And that's so you can make sure that your knife's not coming through this underside of the chicken. And then we just roll the knife through there. Now, it wasn't terribly clear because I'm so close. You actually twisted the knife on an angle. Can you show me yes. with, just with your knife again? What you do is the knife's in there. And we'll imagine the tenderloin's down. What you're doing is spinning your knife around that way so you cut the pocket but you're not cutting the whole length of the breast that way you're going to get less leakage coming out of there when you put your garlic butter in. Now the pocketing techniques that you used in the chicken for the chicken Kiev and the cordon bleu is that a normal butcher's technique? No it's um, one that we developed when I was in Tin Street Meat back in South Australia many years ago we wanted to find a way of stopping the butter from running out of the, the chicken when it was being cooked. And how do you stop yourself from slicing your palm open when you do the twist? It hurts, so you tend to avoid it. All right, today we're going to do a chicken Kiev. We've got our breast Kiev cut. We've got our pocket cut in it ready to go. And I've got some garlic butter here that I've made up. This is just some butter with a, a diced up clove of garlic and some tarragon mixed through it. I give it a little zap in the microwave to soften it up so we can get all the ingredients in and I generally make it a day or so ahead so that all the flavours really infuse through the butter. So all we're looking to do here, you've got your pocket in your breast and it's a matter of just feeding the butter in. Now it's up to you how much garlic butter you like put in. This is for B, there's no such thing as too much garlic butter. <laughs> in the chicken Kiev. So what I'm going to do for a filling, we've got some beautiful slices of triple smoked ham, some nice mature cheddar, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of shredded parmy in there because there's no such thing as too much parmesan in, in anything. So what we do here now is we wrap this up and make a nice little parcel. so that your cheese is all nicely locked into the ham. Now over here to our chicken breast. By the way, how many slices of ham have you got there? That was just two thin slices. All right. And what we've got here is, remember that we made the pocket in the chicken and it goes all the way along the chicken breast. So there's room to feed that way first. <laughs> Been retired too long. <laughs> Feed your parcel into the chicken breast. So we've got our ham and cheese in there, and tenderloin comes down, tucks in under the parcel, and we just roll our chicken breast up. 
so that now we've got that all sealed nicely inside the chicken breast. All right, so we have our ham and cheese in there. With that pocket, it's really your imagination is the limit to what can go inside this chicken Kiev cut. You could use asparagus spears wrapped in prosciutto. Um, you could do sun-dried tomatoes and fresh basil and some parmesan and a little bit of ham. Um, you could do a, a really classic combination and use some diced apricots, some camembert and some toasted almond flakes and, and just do a little bit more upmarket apricot chicken.